Raytheon's ground controls for unmanned aerial vehicles helped the Navy go about its missions without putting sailors at risk. So it was good news when advanced mission control was deployed for the MQ-8 Fire Scout, an unmanned helicopter aboard the USS Coronado. The USS Coronado is one of the Navy's newest literal combat ships, which means that it's designed to operate close to shorelines and the Fire Scout helps expand mission capabilities. The unmanned chopper is built with open Navy hardware and Raytheon software architecture, which means that bolts are flexible enough to add new technology as it becomes available. Under a related effort, the Navy's common control system will be able to control any air, ground, surface, and subsurface vehicles as they deploy with the fleet. Built on the flexible foundation of Fire Scout MCS, that capability will reduce Navy-wide implementation costs and training requirements for the unmanned systems. According to news from the American Chemical Society, we've just come a little bit closer to having tiny electronic devices that can be implanted into our bodies and then dissolve almost without a trace. Scientists have tried everything from DNA to proteins and metals to make transient electronics in the past. Well now, a team of researchers from the UK and China have created a dissolvable memristor out of egg proteins, magnesium, and tungsten. A memristor is a new type of resistor that regulates the flow of electric currents and can also remember charges. So how'd they do it? The researchers rapidly spun diluted egg whites on a silicon wafer to turn it into an ultra-thin film. Then they incorporated electrodes made out of magnesium and tungsten. In tests, the device performed as well as non-degradable memristors. Under dry lab conditions, the egg-spun memristors worked for more than three months. And once they hit the water, the electrodes dissolved in two to 10 hours, while the rest of the chip only took about three days to break down, leaving behind minimal residue. Still, I'm not gonna be comfortable with a disposable implant unless minimal becomes zero. Or just like never with an implant, just. Kickstarter was a popular crowdfunding site where entrepreneurs could get startup projects off the ground, but now it's more of a mechanism for startup 3D printing companies to explode into the market. Slash is the latest professional 3D printer to perform such a feat. The new printer from UniZ Technology initially asked for $50,000, you know, just get off the ground. But at 8 a.m. this morning, more than 500 backers had supported this project to raise more than half a million dollars. According to UniZ, Slash is a high-resolution LCD contact exposure 3D printer that's designed to create high-quality 3D prints without sacrificing speed or user-friendliness. It performs at the same level of precision and speed as industrial 3D printers while remaining affordable. The 370 early bird Slash backers will receive a 3D printer for only $1,200, a deal that, when you compare it to models that are, you know, with more limited capabilities going for as much as $5,500, sounds like a pretty good price tag. Now all that's left to do is wait back and see. See if Unizy can use the funds as a springboard of success into a high-end consumer space, or if the company will suffer the fate as the others before who flamed out before bringing a product to market. But I'm on your side, Unizy, even though, even though I did run out of time before I backslash. What is I'm David Manti, and welcome to Engineering by Design. Feels good to be back, doesn't it? I feel good about it.